This weekend, the feds got a warrant to start sifting through 650,000 emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. An intelligence source tells Fox News it's a virtual certainty that new Clinton records are on that computer and likely contain classified information. More now with our chief intelligence correspondent, Catherine Herridge. She is live in Washington. Can you bring us up to speed on the latest, Catherine? Well, sure, Dana. Uh, at this hour, the FBI has begun the process of sifting through these emails. They've had forensic specialists and analysts develop a program specifically for this task, and it has specific parameters, um, just as examples, uh, names or email addresses, that allows them to take this huge universe of data and create a small pool of data. But it was emphasized to me that if they find any records that are new or even partials of emails that were previously provided to the State Department, there will be a second step, and that's sort of the time-consuming manual step. They call it eyes on. That's when they physically review the record, and if they think there's intelligence that may be classified, they then have to send the email out to the agency that generated the information because they will have final say on classification at the time it was sent or received by the server and then held on Anthony Weiner's laptop computer. All right, we're going to take it around the table and start with Kimberly. Uh, excellent job with the reporting, Catherine. I really enjoyed getting your emails, as I know everyone does. So tell us about um, the backstory on this. It's quite interesting in terms of the amount of time that has passed since when they first determined that this information was out there and then the world heard about it on Friday. Well, thanks for that question. So just to take people back to September, uh, there was a subpoena issued in the Anthony Weiner sexting case, and it required him to provide his electronic devices to an FBI team in New York. They started going through that uh, device in late September, and they started getting some hits for Huma Abedin emails, and they didn't think that much about it at the time because it was uh, a device in the family home. Uh, and then they started to search further, and they started to see records associated with uh, the Clinton server address. They then had to get an additional authority. I know you know how that works, they, because it wasn't the original uh, tasking, to dig, dig a little deeper on the metadata. And that's when they found these multiple hits for uh, state.gov records and then hits associated with the Clinton server uh, address. So this brings us to early October. And it was at that time our contacts say that senior leadership at FBI here in Washington was alerted to the existence of the laptop and also the records that may be relevant to the Clinton case. It is not clear to me at this point whether the three weeks that lapsed from early October when the FBI director and his deputy Andrew McCabe were notified to the letter Friday to Congress whether there was any unnecessary delay or that simply reflects sort of the bureaucracy and the process to get all the evidence together and to get it in sort of a, a clean fashion if you will. All right, Juan. Mm -hmm. uh, Catherine, as I understand it, these emails go back three years, is that correct? What we know from the reporting of my colleague Brett Baer is he has a contact who's uh, close to Anthony Weiner's uh, legal team that they think the records got on the computer because when they backed up Huma Abedin's uh, smartphone contact list, it backed up the entire device as well as the email records. And there does appear to be a gap in the data. It seems to stop about three or four years ago. But it pretty much would cover the period when Huma Abedin was at the State Department and working directly for then-Secretary Hillary Clinton.